All right, guys, exciting times are happening. We just took our last delivery of tile. Farmer Chris is on our tail trying to get this planted. We got about 20,000 feet to put in, but check that out. The Hyundai has made it to the job site. I'm excited, let's go. Let me get you guys cut off the speed here a little bit. You guys remember, I believe there's 10 fields down here. We are down to the last two fields. We had a little bit of time left the other day. We got done with field four. So we come down here to gotta get started on field nine and 10. I didn't wanna bore you guys with a bunch of uh, aimless digging, I guess, but we actually gotta run a main line, a double main line up through here. And it actually gets pretty deep going up through that hump. We just kind of took off digging with the ball ball the other day. So uh, if I remember right, about uh, three tenths of a percent slope. You guys can see our two pipes coming out. The river's coming up. It's about ready to get into our uh, about ready to get into our pipes. But anyways, we got ran up and through the hump over there. Got all that covered up. We still got close to maybe about 100 to 150 feet. But we need to dig before we can get to a plowable depth. So which is going to be really cool and really interesting is we dug this whole section of the slope old school with the uh, grade rod and Matt giving me information and just digging. So even though we're kind of learning this machine guidance system, this 2DMG uh, on the new Hyundai, I'm curious, one, if it improves our accuracy and two, if it improves our speed. Uh, the bucket that I have to go on the 210 uh, is a two foot bucket, but it's tooth not smooth. So hopefully that don't mess us, mess us up, mess us up a whole lot. But these guys are getting everything uh, set up. We're gonna hop in the old machine and give her a go. All right, guys, it's go time. Let's see if we can figure this out. So we got our T set on the ground. We're gonna use that as our reference. Zero that out. We're gonna go in here. We're gonna put slope in. We're gonna change that to, change that to, there we go, uh, 0 0.30 is our slope. We're gonna confirm that, we're gonna hit okay. Pretty simple. We're gonna go off the center tooth, even though we're missing a tooth, but you guys get the point. All of our settings look good. We need to zero that out again. Look at there, we are zeroed. It is go time. Let's dig. You ready? Oh, so I'm gonna keep old school and make sure your new school works. Like you're gonna be able to keep up with me now? Absolutely. I got twice the machine and guidance. All right, so I moved the machine, which means I'm gonna have to reset my known point. We also do have the option to do the laser, but we're gonna do it this way, because right now we got the laser set up on a, on a slope, so. All right, here we go. Man, this thing digs so much different than the old 140. Beautiful. That screen's nicely placed to where I can see my bucket and see that number out of the corner of my eye, so it works out really good. How are we looking? That's uh I don't really want to answer. My ear from the beeping and my eye from the looking says we're doing pretty good there, bud. All right, we're gonna give you all a little bit different view from the bucket side, the view I normally get. Look at that. So, real question. Hold on, I gotta talk on the radio, he can't hear me. Real question. Got a copy? Copy, copy question, guy. Is the bottom of that ditch that good because of guidance now, not the operator? 
Twitter here with a combination. <laughs> I'm going to call two letters. The first one might be B and the second one might be S. <laughs> hey, look, it's Jerry. Uh-huh, sure. Look how smooth that is. I know it's hard to tell from up here. Your fancy screen tells you there's a low spot right there? I was just telling your people, I don't know how well they can see, but that was really smooth and it looked like there was a dip is where I was headed. So operator error. Not guidance error. <laughs> oh boy. Well, let's see. I'm going to go old school on him. That's dead on. That is... Well, it was an eighth of an inch. Now it's dead on. So we're good there. Let's see if he fixed his low spot. Fix this low spot. Let's check the high side. Uh, you're a quarter inch off, sir. I'm kidding, it's dead on. His head's only getting bigger, folks. <laughs> That's not a good thing. I'll have to give you guys first impressions. This is the first time we've really dug with this machine. We kind of messed around with it a little bit up here at the house. Did some testing, but uh, man, it is quiet, it is smooth, it is stable. I'm uh, I'm really starting to like this thing. Really start liking hey, it a lot. Can you make sure these chunks will stop so I don't have to smooth it so much? Just leave it a little chunky there, bud. Well, it's the difference between the snaggle tooth bucket and the smooth face bucket. You gotta wait until we have a smooth face bucket for this machine. <laughs> You have it all, bud. You better hurry up. Jerry's coming after you. Make the check, bud. Yeah, we need a smooth face. Make the check. Yeah, so far, guys, we are really liking the 210. It is, I don't know, it's fitting into the fleet very nicely on day number one. Let's put it that way. We got about uh, 150 feet to dig here. Let me dig for a little bit. We've got to check in with you guys here in a little bit and see how we're getting along. Well, guys, we are about to the end of the dig. I am uh, very, very impressed with the way this Hyundai excavator is digging so far. I've changed a few of the settings in the monitor, kind of trying to get it to my uh, liking, and I will, uh, I will cover that all more in the future when I kind of know a whole lot more about it and kind of understand it a little better so I can explain it to you guys a little bit better. The uh, 2DMG, it's been, it's been a little bit of a learning tool or a learning curve. It's definitely a good reference on where you're at and where you need to be. It's taken me, uh, it's, hard, it's hard to teach an old dog new tricks, I guess is the best way to put it. I'm slowly kind of getting the hang of it, getting the feel of it. It's definitely got, uh, definitely got some potential. I just got to figure out how to use it fully to my advantage is the biggest thing. It don't help matters. I don't have a smooth face bucket for this bigger machine. It's a little harder to dig flat like this and hold the grade the way we need to, but we're getting, we're getting there.
All right, we are officially done digging in main line. I'm a little bit sad because I don't get to play on the new excavator anymore, but uh, I'm ready to get some footage in the ground and switch back over to the plow. This has been a, a good reminder of how we did it old school for a lot of years, digging this in. The plow is definitely faster. A lot of you guys ask me how much faster. If we're four foot deep or less, what we can do in about 15 minutes would take us about four hours before. So it is a uh, considerable, considerable speed difference. Uh, a lot of you guys have been asking too how far the laser will reach. Uh, we've double checked our few times. We feel pretty comfortable reaching out about 3,000 feet. After 3,000 feet, we usually take the time to, uh, to move it. So I'm gonna try to use this grade control system to my advantage here. I think this here is going to be more of a better case scenario than what we were doing before. I get down to that pipe, I'm going to come up a foot in the course of, uh, I don't know, eight or ten feet. The pipe is five feet deep now and I want to start off plowing uh, four feet deep. So that should give me a really good reference of where I need to be. see the pipe down there we left uh we backfilled a lot of this but we left where all of our connections need to be uh exposed so we ain't gotta go back and dig them up I can't see that on camera. All right, I got her set, so basically I'm at zero. Whenever I get to myself, I want to be, it, it's, it can be a random number, although I want to be somewhere around a foot. Right there's a foot. That actually worked out pretty nice if we're going to do a whole bunch of this i've got to get a smooth face bucket for this machine for doing tile work but uh this is definitely getting us getting us by for now all right let's go hop back in the old dozer all right back to plow and tile let's get this uh get this tile plow lowered in the ground and get some footage in. As some would say, back in business. All right, pipe is loaded, laser chaser is calibrated, auto mode, engage. Perfect. I hooked it in. I 
after all that digging, it sure makes me appreciate this tile plow. That is way easier and uh, way faster. And I'm pretty confident a better job. All right. Let me show this to you guys real quick here before I kind of pull out of here while we went through all the trouble of digging all the way over there. This is actually the low spot in the field. And for me to my truck up there, it lays really, really, really flat. And then it kind of starts falling off here towards me. And then it slowly falls off and it kind of levels out again. And down there's the property line. There's not a good spot to outlet. And even if we plowed deep down through there, we'd have a hard time getting the depth we needed up there. And we're going to be dumping all this water on the neighbor's property, which happens to be a campground, which is probably not the nicest thing to do. So instead of doing that, now keep in mind a lot of this groundwater is already going his way. We dug across, split the field in half, dug across and put that main line in there. So now all this water, even though this ground's sloping this way, a lot of this water is gonna go run back the pipe that way. And then we dug through that hump so it can dump directly out in the river over there, which should alleviate a lot of water on his end. We're hoping that that naturally dries up this end by getting a lot of the surface water off of it and see what happens. So this was an eight inch run. Uh, we just kind of had it spec for it. It probably could have been six. We're actually gonna jump across on the other field and we got like four 3,000 foot runs to run. Just wham, bam, let's plow them in. Thank you, ma'am. So Matt went to get some pipe. We need to go back up there and dig our next start hole. And uh, we're gonna try to hammer out some footage. All right, we are set up and ready for the next run. Uh, Matt and Matt kind of got this going while I had a phone call. So basically our one eight inch line we brought up going to a riser T right there. This is gonna kind of get dug out into a little bit of a catch basin. There's actually a culvert that comes underneath the road right there. Uh, at this point, we convert to six inch. Six inch going 3,000 feet that way. We've already got it ran through the plow, got the laser chaser set up, we got our grade set. Let's put some pipe in the ground. That right there, guys, is gonna be the end of a 3,000 foot run. Got three more of those to do. There she goes. I'm hoping today, I'm hoping today we get our biggest footage number yet in the ground. I'm shooting for 10,000 feet. I'm hoping we get 10,000 feet in the ground. This is a little better view of what we got going on. This is the main line we dug down through there. We got 3,000 feet that way, 3,000 feet that way, kind of splitting this big field in half. So first things first, we're gonna go there, get us our start hole dug, and we're gonna take off plowing. But before we fire this beauty up this morning, I figure we better check all the fluids and everything hey man look at that isn't that just a cute little motor down in there i'll have to give the thing credit it uh it hangs right in there okay am i not smart enough to operate a dipstick there we go Let's see what we got right on full that's convenient kind of curious to see what the uh fuel burn per hour on this one is compared to the 120 and the 140. The 120 and the 140 
are actually very similar. Uh, the 120, depending on what you're doing, it burns around uh, eight tenths of a gallon per hour. That one's nine tenths to maybe, if you're pushing it hard, a gallon per hour. Obviously, this thing being a little bit bigger, I fully expect it to burn a little more fuel per hour, but you also get more done per hour is the theory. So, all right, let's fire this thing up and get us a start hold up. I'm also going to explain this a whole lot more in detail later. I am learning about it and all of its capabilities. And the more I learn, the more I really, really like that system. It just gives you so many options to adapt to your operating style, which is pretty cool. Man, you guys smell that? Still got the, the new excavator smell. It's awesome. All right, so digging this main line ditch down through here using the uh, guidance control on the machine was 100% sold on it. Uh, of course, we were asking a lot out of it, trying to be pretty precise just for a guidance system, but this is where it's proved to be extremely handy. So I got my teeth set right on the bottom of that other ditch. I'm gonna dig this start hole out. I just wanna make sure this start hole comes up. It can come up two inches, it can come up four inches. It just needs to make sure it comes up. So if I set my machine right there, as I come on back, as long as that number is climbing and not going down, we're coming up. So uh, this, you know, some of these start holes are pretty short, but this one here is actually going to be about 30 feet long because it has to go all the way over to the back side of this road. Before we would have set the laser up just to do this, I'm confident enough in that guidance control that I can get a couple inches to fall on it. Then we're just gonna run with it. So definitely proved to be pretty handy in this situation. So you guys are gonna kind of catch this one in the progress here. I apologize, I left my camera and ran off, but we got teed in the main line. Matt actually went to go get a riser tee. So we're gonna get a riser right here in this to catch that uh, culvert there. And we took off up through there. We're about a uh, thousand feet in or so. Had to come back and get an end cap. Let's go finish her off. You ready? What are you eating? Snack or snack? Oh my goodness. options with the old dozer there. Keep him going out ahead of us. We're going to move on to the next one. He's eight. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. I like it. 
All right, Matt's got us tied into our main line, teed over for our next riser, adjusting riser height a little bit. We are set up in the plow, laser chaser is locked in. Let's hammer out on there to 3,000 feet. We made it to the other end of the field, another 3,000 feet in the ground. There's a big washout right here, and it kind of goes into the woods up there. We're gonna try to uh, plow ourselves out in that washout, maybe pull some extra pipe through the plow. Uh, so we can possibly run it down here, clear some of these trees out, take some of this corner off. I don't know how close I'm gonna come out to do what we want to do. As you see the pipe down there we come just out in our ditch the way we needed i'm gonna try to pull forward about another six eight feet we're gonna pull that through the plow i'm gonna get the dozer out of the way let it lay down the ditch and call her good we hit that right on didn't we Spot on. feet down past the washout. I that see about that. Good. Question that tile plow down here though. Didn't lay it down too flat. Yeah, I know. A little off, ain't it? A little it's bit. About one foot high, be okay, won't it? Should be. Good. It's all downhill. Taking that over. I'm gonna pull the pipe through, but if you're pushing that over, I'm getting it out of the way.
good. We need to keep this thing going. Put pipe in the ground. We got three runs up through here. We got one more to do, so we're gonna jump over, get it done, and whatever pipe we got left, we go down the other field. So we're hammering some out today. All right, kind of good news and bad news here at the end of the day. We didn't quite get the footage in the ground. We wanted to, but uh, Jerry did manage to get all these dry dams done. We kind of jumped in with him a little bit and uh, made sure all that was good to go. A lot of tedious work. Jerry was available, so we wanted to get all that done. There's actually three of them. One, two, the other one down there by the Volvo. There's still one more back here behind us. I'll show you that guy. I'll show you that tomorrow, but uh, I gotta get to the ball game, so I'll see you then. Good morning, guys. We are back again. You guys hear the barge going up the river over there? He is like uh, right there on the other side of the trees and he is getting it. So, all right, we've already ran a couple runs this morning. Everything went pretty smooth. Jerry's over there uh, cleaning up what we did yesterday on the eight inch run. Uh, Matt and I have got all of our connections made here. This is one of the runs we did this morning. Uh, tied on, went that way. Got our last riser in right there. Last six inch tied in going that way. Basically, we got 3,000 feet in that direction and tiling season is over. We are complete. But before we take off down that way, we're gonna hop in the Hyundai. I don't know if you guys noticed this morning, but uh, picked up a couple little flags and put on there. We got one on the plow, one on the new Hyundai. They're not much. I think they're a nice little, nice little added touch. So. I'm gonna hop on this machine and kind of get uh, backfield in around those pipes a little bit. That way if Jerry beats us down here, uh, he can go ahead and do his thing and build those little uh, dry dams or tension areas, catch basins, whatever you feel like calling them this morning. All right, hold off on that. We're, we're running to the river. I think the, uh, well, the paddle wheel boats just went up the river. I don't know if I can get over there and show you guys. I may not make it in time. All right, we made it over the river, scaled up. That is the American Duchess. She's moving pretty good. Don't see too many of the old paddler wheels on the uh, river anymore, every once in a while. You guys see her out there? It's kind of like a walk back in time right there. Pretty cool, she's moving on. Now that boat is actually powered by the paddle wheel. That is what's propelling it up the river. I don't know if you guys can tell, there is quite a bit of current right now. See the spray coming off the wheel back there, isn't that cool? Cool deal. All right, unfortunately, I think it's time to go back to work. bit out of breath after running after the uh the boat there but uh it was worth it pretty cool to see that going up and down the river now we need to get this last little riser here kind of cleaned up around it man i'm uh <clears throat> slowly getting the hang of the old uh 210 here i guess i shouldn't call it old it's brand new but Man, I am, uh, I hate to admit it, guys, I hate to admit it, but I am really, 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 three reallys, really liking this machine. A lot. Too much. Even these small, tedious jobs, 
I know y'all be a little careful because I literally don't know my own strength right now, but... I can almost feel like I do a better job with this one than I do with the 140. Been kind of getting these close, and then Jerry's been coming back in behind me with the dozer and the other machine and kind of really polishing them all. Just don't want to make any extra shovel work for him, that's not necessary. All right, you ready to plow out this last 3,000 feet? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, there's there 1,500 feet in the ground, guys. That was not eventful at all. Went pretty smooth. Matt went to get another roll of pipe. I just seen, uh, just seen Jerry climbing the new Hyundai down there. And I'm really surprised he's running that one instead of the other one. But uh, we're gonna go down and see what, uh, see what he thinks about it real quick. The real question is, you guys think he can get her fired up and moving? That was pretty simple. I think he's probably got her figured out. I can't hardly really believe my eyes. It's not very often you get uh, Jerry out of his comfort zone and get him into a brand new piece of equipment, but uh, he wanted to give her a try, so. We're gonna turn him loose on it. It's his first scoop of dirt. He don't like running an excavator as much as he runs a dozer, but he's uh, he's still pretty slick on an excavator. I think we can keep it. <laughs> you want keep it? You gonna help me pay for it? But I'd like the idea of closing up the cab, turning the AC on, to pay for it. <laughs> it's not too shabby, is it? No. It's, it's pretty smooth. I guess it ought to be though. <laughs> well, don't let us slow you down, Jerry. But, but the other two has helped us get where we are, too. That's right. That's right. So, well, I'm going to turn you loose on this. I'm going to head back there in the field and keep on plowing. Okay. I know it was a dirt perfect machine already because you had the Pepsi can on the floorboard. Shh, Jerry, I already took that out. They didn't <laughs> see it. <laughs> We gotta turn Jerry loose. We got a pipe to plow. Let's get back at her. Last connection. A last roll of pipe. This is it, baby. This is it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Never thought this day would come, Matt. Uh, a long time of coming. So we've been plowing. We've been on this job for actual days. Eleven days. Eleven days of plowing. 11 days of plowing. We've covered some ground. I got 11 more in me. <laughs> <laughs> me and the plow may need a small vacation, then we'll be back. All right, let's get this done. All right, we're off to the races and going. I don't know if you can see my tracks out there through the field. We need to kind of go up and veer off to the left. I'm not real, real, real deep in the ground, so I'm hoping. Uh, 
Looks like I can make that turn without any assist ads. Let's find out. nice it is nice knowing we are on the home stretch last thousand feet of pipe for the year we're going in the ground jerry's over there he's uh polishing up the one we did last time he's uh he's catching up on us Driving the tractor for me. Laying her out, boys. Laying her out. Man, so close. Oh, we gotta stop leaving a trail of where we've been. He found us. Not again. All right. Jerry's running out of stuff to do. I got a birthday party I gotta get to. Let's get this knocked out. Is that your crawl bad uh, condominium there? Trying to get rid of these babies. <laughs> you ready to roll? We should be having some sort of uh party or cheers or something this is like the last let's do it last 10 feet no more is that the no more crawl dads no more crawl dads sorry right. guys let's get her in the ground i'm tired of seeing the black snake
like I said guys, that's gonna be a wrap on tiling season this year. It's been a good one. We put just shy of 100,000 feet in the ground and uh, it all went pretty well for the most part. I think what I'm gonna do in the next video or the video after or make a dedicated video on it, I'd like to kind of give you guys my thoughts on the tile plow, the laser chaser, our whole system in general, uh, the new Hyundai 210 that showed up, and uh, kind of uh, what we learned, what we may change for next year, some improvements we can make, what worked, what didn't work, uh, just kind of go down down through the list. So, But uh, that's going to have to wait because I'm late for a, a birthday party and a few other things, so I need to get out of here before I get disowned by the family. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big old thumbs up. You don't want to miss out on my thoughts or see that beauty over there in some more videos i'd consider subscribing it's free that way we can catch you guys on the next one later